After four long months in Florida gutting and rebuilding our vintage JDM camper, it's finally time to hit the road. We're full-time nomads again and could not be more excited. Special thanks to Skillshare for making this video possible. This is our life now. Can't pass by semi-trucks. <laughs> It's not that we can't go 70 miles an hour. Actually, I am going like 65 right now. Like I'm not going super slow, but I don't want to go that much faster. We're not in a hurry, you know? Are you in a hurry? No, I'm just sitting here in the passenger seat, hanging out. Where are we going? I don't know. Where are we going? <laughs> North? <laughs> yeah, that sounds good to me. My plan for this trip, guys, is to try to avoid as many like major interstates as we can. But at the same time, like we want to get away from like the scorching hot weather that is South Florida right now. So we're just gonna stick to the interstate for a little while. Probably do like a rest area tonight and then just kind of keep making our way north. Maybe by tomorrow we'll find some cooler weather and be able to camp out somewhere tomorrow night. much cozier in here than I thought it would be. It's really nice. Is that cold? We made it relatively far north. It's definitely noticeably cooler up here, like mid 60s or so. Might even drop into the high 50s tonight. So should be pretty good temperature for sleeping inside the van for our first night inside the new camper van here, guys. We are very, very excited. We're gonna give it a try. Wake up first thing tomorrow morning and keep heading north. Pan's not hot. We don't have propane yet, guys. We gotta take care of that today. Hopefully tonight we'll make our first meal in the van. For now, it's just some grocery store croissants for breakfast. Thank you. Do I just... Is it... Good news is the oven works. The bad news is I didn't hook it up the right way. There's like a little bit of a kink in the fuel line and it's preventing the propane from actually getting to the stove top unless we move it around. So got some surgery to do here. Do think that'll work? I don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just bring the hose out and then around so it doesn't kink. Ooh. And now there's because there's space back here, it should be okay. Hoping it works. Taking your head out the window. <laughs> Success. Good job. Shane's over here just trying to make a couple pieces of toast for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I just want lunch. I'm just blowing everything up in here. Uh, I didn't think we'd have to dig for all these tools the second day on the road, but. Stuff. Of course, we were gonna need to do stuff. <laughs> Works though. I think that uh, I think we fixed the problem. So let's make some food. We got a new impact driver and a new drill. It's kind of like our going away present. I feel like we did that in the wrong order though. Yeah, should have gotten that a long time ago. Yeah. Chef's sampler toast collection. Cookie butter and avocado. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I did fix that like a few days ago. I know, I just started it again. It's a little bit of an experiment figuring this out. But I think I've got it down. Welcome to Georgia. Dinner. 
I'm <laughs> too lazy to make anything else. As I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with tons of different classes and courses that you can take to learn all sorts of different skills. Everything from filmmaking to photography and web design, web development, marketing, entrepreneurship, time management. I mean, there are a lot of really awesome resources on this platform here. I know I've said that in quite a few previous videos. Today I've been working on this class, Productivity for Creatives. It's taught by Thomas Frank and kind of goes into detail about time management and just efficiency hacks and things like that, tips and tricks that uh, is particularly useful for folks who are self-employed and working in a creative field like me with this YouTube thing. So I figure now is a really good time to finally start picking up a few more courses and trying to learn a few more skills because we actually have a little bit extra time now. You know, we're not working on the van build. Shannon's not really working on the house anymore. We're now just kind of out here and, and back on the road. So we definitely are going to have a little bit more free time and what better way to use that free time than by trying to learn some new skills. The first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description below will get 30% off an annual subscription to Skillshare Premium, and that actually still works even if you have already used a free trial in the past. I would definitely recommend checking them out, guys. Thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Decided to use these GoPro hook mounts to keep the solar panel in place when we drape it over the roof. They've been working out pretty well. This is a pretty awesome little spot. We've had some pretty rainy and dreary weather all morning. It's been raining mostly, but we finally got a break with a little bit of sunshine right now. So decided to put the solar panel out. Shannon is working remotely. It's a Monday now, so she's working full time from inside the van. We want to try to get as much power as we can in there. Uh, I'm going to be working, probably editing this video later on this afternoon. So definitely want to make sure we have as much as we can to kind of sustain ourselves. We do have perfect cell signal out here, like 4G super fast, like no problem. Food's ready. Let's eat. Is this breakfast or lunch? It's both. It's brunch, right? We got a russet potato hash with some fake sausage and oyster mushrooms and regular mushrooms and onion and Tony's. Mmm. By the way, we are now in central Georgia, somewhere between Macon and Atlanta. I think this is technically part of the Chattahoochee National Forest System. We actually just talked to a park ranger. He drove by on this gravel road. It's the only person we have seen drive by since we got out here yesterday evening. And he saw that I had the drone in the air and he happens to be like really interested in drones. He has a couple himself. So we were just kind of talking and hanging out for a little bit. And that's what he said. He said it's technically part of the Chattahoochee National Forest area. There is a campground down the way that we drove right by. And that was kind of what we were planning to stop at, but we also knew that there was dispersed camping, so we kind of kept going, and I'm glad we did because we found this spot on top of the hill here. We got some pretty cool views all the way around. Like I said, it's a comfortable spot, full cell signal. We're probably gonna hang out here for a couple days. Take back whatever I said earlier about the temperature being bearable outside. It's definitely getting pretty warm. It has not rained anymore. It's just been getting more and more humid and hot as the day has gone on. And then inside this fan it is extremely toasty. We've got Shannon's computer running, her monitor, my computer as I was editing gets really hot. We're making rice for dinner with the rice cooker. The bloody is pretty warm. And then also there's like 600 windows in this fan. So <laughs> it's a little uncomfortable in here right now. Step into my sauna. Oh no.
at a last minute through this backpacking stove in our trunk and I'm really glad I did because I think I'm actually going to be doing this quite a lot. Having two people in the van, I think we're going to want to try to spend a little bit more time outside. We were about to try to leave. We were planning to head out of here. This rain wasn't really looking good, but now it's hailing. I don't like this. We were just about to leave, and then this storm rolled in. We didn't think it was going to be that bad, but then out of nowhere it started hailing, and Sharon's getting warnings on her phone. What does it say? It says, if you can hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. Seek shelter immediately. I don't think we're going to be leaving the van for, for a little while. And it's not cold in here. It is still pretty warm, humid. I'm dripping in sweat right now. We're going to head back into town. We're probably going to try to get a shower, maybe head towards Atlanta, spend a couple days over there, and then we'll find our next camp. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you all in the next one. But they are awesome, though. It's like a whole other level of pork. Except for that you just broke the oven. <laughs> I did just do that because of the impact. Oops. Just going to be really careful. See? I'm careful. <laughs> it's all about the touch. Oh, okay.